Welcome back to my channel, lovely ladies and gents. My name is Evelyn Wood, and this is my show, Thrift to Vintage, where I take used, unloved thrift store clothing and I refashion it into beautiful vintage styled outfits. And today's episode's pretty special. I'm going to show you how I transformed this rather plain men's shirt into this lovely uh, vintage inspired blouse. And I'm going to do it using a doily. Yes, a doily. One of those old lady crocheted things that you put on top of the tabletop and the vase goes on top of it. You know what I mean. One of those. So, stick around. Let's see how I'm going to do it. Alright, so this is the shirt I'm starting with. Just a plain men's business shirt. Now what my idea with this is, this doily here. See, I wasn't lying when I said doily. So what the plan is, I'm going to use this centerpiece here as the neckline. So I'm going to cut out this circle here and take out this centerpiece and then lay this down and use this as um, a new neckline shape which I'll have to make and I'm thinking that I will gather this up a little so I've got a nice little uh, collar, pointed collar happening and I think <laughs> something definitely needs to happen with these sleeves so I think I might shorten and uh, puff them with some elastic is what I'm thinking and the whole shirt will just kind of be resized but the main feature is going to be this collar First of all, I need to cut out the centerpiece of the doily to create my new neckline. I'm going to keep the centerpiece for later. Now the first thing I want to do is actually uh, remove this collar and create a new neckline for this shirt. And I want to see the neckline on it first before I make any other changes to the shirt because I'll see what looks good as I go along. I'm going to cut around the flower on the doily so that I can use it in the project for something else. I've just tried this on and you know what? I actually think the collar needs to come up quite a lot higher so I'm going to move it up to sort of here somewhere. I think that'll look much nicer. And I had to cut these silly cuffs off whilst I was just trying it on because I just couldn't do anything with them flapping around. Okay, I can't, I can't cut left-handed. So after much playing around, I now have this collar where I want it. Um, on this shirt there is quite a large overlap, so it does make it a little trickier getting this sort of in the center and looking nice, but uh, I think I've got it, at least it looks pretty decent. Now what I'm going to do is mark out in chalk uh, around where I want this neckline to sit. I'm actually going to finish it with some bias binding. I don't have any matching colors, so I'm going to use this peach color and I'm actually going to stitch it around and this will be used as a facing on the other side of the fabric there to finish it off. and stitch them all together to hold in place and did a basting stitch all along this little edge of the lace to gather it in to fit the actual collar of the shirt. And now to actually pin the lace back on the collar and it should just go straight on top now. The 
these sleeves, I'm going to keep them long but put some elastic around the edges uh, so they puff up. And I actually like the idea, now that I have this on, of it being um, open uh, and just clasped here with a, um, you know, a little hook and eye. But I actually think that it might work as a cute little sort of um, over jacket. So I'm just going to cut along the hem here straight and then I'm just going to re-hem it with a little narrow, uh, narrow hem of double turnover to finish this one. For the cuffs, what I'm going to do is actually just make a casing. So I'm going to fold it over once and then fold it over again a little more uh, so that I can insert some elastic into that casing. Stitch uh, all of the way around the edges here. So I can just get in here enough to sew those um, sleeve patches on and I don't have to hand stitch them. So that makes me really happy just really need to finish these buttons. As I've decided to wear it open as a jacket rather than closed, I'm actually going to forfeit the button holes on this side and put these gorgeous little vintage pearl buttons I have uh, down the button side here and actually down this side as well as I think it will give it a really, really nice finish. I've got little press studs. So this press is closed and this hangs down. Now, do you remember what this looked like before? Well, that one did take a little longer than expected and it took a few changes along the way. I originally thought that I would have it as a tailored fitted uh, blouse with that beautiful collar, but as I just kept going through the design, once the collar was on, I really liked it uh, how it's ended up as this little sort of light jacket uh, to wear, which is really nice for me right now as I'm coming into winter. So I will definitely be trying this doily collar again. And if you follow my Instagram, you would have seen uh, one that I did recently on a dress that I made from scratch and it turned out beautiful. So let me know what you think about the doily collar. Is it something that you might try? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And thank you again for watching. Subscribe to my channel for all my future refreshings and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you did like this video. Thanks again and I'll see you next time. Bye. Yes, doily. Really? You know, one of those, uh, um, <laughs> you know, you put them under uh, they crochet and you put them under things. Old ladies love them.